so many dangers uh, associated with uh, alcohol use and abuse. Um, you know, you you don't ever really hear of anyone overdosing on on marijuana or cannabis. Um, but there are some certain dangers, I guess, that would have to be at least acknowledged in terms of you know using it and driving. When you teach, do you do you teach about the benefits and the harms of usage? I, I do. We we have a section that's called uh, social issues, and so we do go through through things like the argument argument about gateway drug. We do talk about underage use. We talk about driving well impaired. Uh, but, but that also is kind of a complicated issue for a couple reasons. One is that we've relied pretty much on uh, on blood or urine tests with uh, cannabis. And if you're a regular smoker or user of cannabis, you can actually stop right now. And in 30 days, you could be tested and there's a good chance you would still test positive because right. your body just stores it for that long, even though you would absolutely not be impaired at all. So right. testing for impairment is definitely going to be something we'll see. And at some point we might have something like a um, cannabis breathalyzer but the tricky part about cannabis is the only way you know somebody's actively impaired is you pretty much have to scan their brain you can't you can't really get it from um other other sources so you can imagine at some point maybe we'll have some sort of app that can do that uh but that that is a huge challenge and then also and and also people have such different tolerance levels too I, i know an ms patient in colorado and she regularly will take well over 200 milligrams of um of cannabis uh at a sitting and a couple times per day whereas for most of us that would be that would be a dose that would uh probably make you fall asleep or definitely would have some uncomfortable effects but she but she is um so attuned to it she gets along just fine so again trying to set up a threshold of what somebody would be uh to be impaired while they're driving that's also a very difficult question 